So randomness is a pretty important element of Super Auto Pets. I mean, we've got the random shop, we have random opponents in arena, you have abilities that are random, but you can also make a random pack as well. However, when there's a lot of randomness involved, it does mean that you become kind of acutely aware of strange coincidences and uh, things like rolling multiple pets that are all the same, um, facing the same opponent multiple times in a row, or even facing a team that looks way too similar to your own. It, for a second, you think it can't be random at all, but it definitely is. And uh, the, the same kind of principle applies to YouTube. There are so many SAP YouTubers that sooner or later there's going to be weird coincidences. And here is one of them now. Yesterday's video Rev put out, um, which I recommend you watch right now because I'm going to talk about the content of it. Uh, so pause. The link is in the description if you want to see it. But he called this video the Forgotten Tier 3 and it was about the surgeon fish. And uh, if you have gone and watched that video, which I hope you did, you will find out that that video had very, very little surgeon fish in it. And <laughs> this is uh, not me roasting Rev for putting a video out that hardly had the pet in it at all. I've definitely done it in the past as well. It's one of those things that sometimes it just happens where you cannot get the run that you want and then you just have to settle for something else. And with a pet that's like surgeon fish, which is a little bit awkward, um, I don't think it's bad. I just think, um, you know, the fact that you need the trumpets kind of restricts what you're able to do in terms of your team composition. And I uh, also means, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense putting surgeon fish up the front. And when you're in customs and you're trying to get a build with an atypical unit, generally the strategy is to pile stats onto it. But obviously you can't really put the big surgeon fish up front. You need to have something in front of it that has a uh, cherry or you need to get a uh, Highland cow for the start of battle activation. And, um, it's kind of a shame that uh, Groundhog isn't start of battle. I guess that was changed for a reason, but you can I think you can tell things like Surgeon Fish were designed to exist when uh, you could actually get the start of battle trumpets much earlier than, than tier six. But we're gonna make do at the moment. I'm just gonna spend the gold on the cherry for the beetle, even though I know that the beetle is gonna be gone. And then we'll just have to buy another cherry later on. So this run is from before the update and it's just been in the backlog. It's just pure coincidence that Rev and I both happen to have Surgeon Fish videos <laughs> coming out at the same time. Um, well, lucky I didn't record the commentary <laughs> beforehand because it meant that I could uh, make fun of his uh, Surgeon Fish video. So yeah, we get the second Surgeon Fish here and although it's not going to benefit from the Opossum, we'll just uh, bring it in now. I'm not sure why I didn't keep the, the lettuce frozen there. Maybe I was hoping to find another cherry so I could sell the, the Hercules beetle. I don't know. Um, but the other thing we can do next turn is look for stoat uh, to sell it and potentially find another sea lion or um, manatee. And yeah, we're going to lose here. I mean, that was pretty much locked in regardless. Actually, there is a manatee in the shop there. Um, but maybe I'm not going to take it. We, see, there's another weird coincidence. We rolled the triple um, Osprey. And yeah, maybe that's why I um, unfroze the lettuce. I wanted to buy the, the cherry. So here's a stoat, which we can buy sell after I sell the beetle. And now we're free to put the higher attack surgeon fish at the front. Although, of course, um, it's not its ability isn't going to trigger, but the one behind it will. We get the 1-1 one, one manatee and then we immediately roll banana, which is <laughs> absolutely delightful. And even though the sea lions give health, the manatee is still going to faint itself and we're going to get the monkey. So now we can start buffing up the front surgeon fish to um, kind of mitigate the fact that it's not going to, its ability isn't going to trigger. And luckily here we had enough attack to kill the, the goose. So we've got two surgeons and there's another one. Uh, which I think I'm going to bring in straight away. And then, am I going to put it up front? Yeah, it's awkward. We've got the cherry already, and I really would like to have other strong equipment. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm going to have it uh, gain some attack from the sea lion because uh, the surgeon fish ability is obviously going to give health. 
and so um, once we rearrange the order, uh, we want the um, all the surgeons to have sort of more balanced stats. And here is uh, Josiah buffing uh, a stoat, I think it was. I think I moved the manatee to the front with uh, the eggplant, so um, scaling up the stoat for some reason. I don't know if that run made it into a video. This is uh, a few weeks old, I think, this recording. So I'm actually going to take the level here, our partial level. Um, although we are already on six trophies turn nine. And um, I feel like that probably adequately represents, you know, the way Surgeon Fish works is that it's going to provide a real boost early because of the health it gives. But um, the later you go, the less relevant the health becomes. And yeah, we can give 12 health to a uh, sea lion, which is um, so nice. The dart frog is going to keep targeting it, but doesn't have enough firepower there. And yeah, now I've now I'm going to move the the sea lion back so that the surgeon fish gets some uh, health. Maybe not necessary. I don't know. I think am I going to buy another cherry? I think yeah, probably not worth it. And yeah, since we since we only have the one level two surgeon fish, we really only need one cherry to get that get those stats. Probably be better buying some of the other equipment like uh, maybe tomato a bit later on. But this is perfect. We move uh, Falcon to the front and end up wasting its summon. They do have Warthog with. Uh, the bird of, uh, no bird of paradise, secretary bird, but luckily the stats it gave were exactly the same as the uh, attack on the monkey. So we kind of got away with one there. Now I think here I might actually just give up on the sea lion. I can't remember the ordering here. I think I give up on the sea lion in order to buy sell these oysters and try and find uh, something else. And then we're going to move another surgeon fish to the front and just start uh, statting it up so that our team is a little bit less lopsided and then we roll octopus plus the waffle which is ideal and get a little bit of a jump start on the the one at the front or am i going to change my mind no we are going to use the monkey to spread the stats around so the first one the first two surgeon fish aren't going to do anything but the monkey does have 14 attacks so um buffing it up uh, makes a lot of sense Although uh, we may be in trouble here with another uh, Warthog. Okay, we're not. It's only level one, so we're fine. We, we're now on eight trophies turn 12. And we really need to find another Surgeon Fish. Uh, although throwing in two base stats ones is not going to be great. And I think I'm just going to buy this pretzel. We do find the Surgeon Fish though. However, with this team, it does actually... It's not so bad having a, a weak unit up front because we can put a weak one up front with the... Um, the cherry and therefore we get the activations on the stronger units and here I think yeah it's going to be uh, another tie because another team with high attack at the back and we'll just keep buying pretzel even though it's not really worth all that much uh, in comparison to um, finding things like waffle and of course surgeon fish is uh, tier 3 so you don't get the double effect but look at the size of the surgeon fish at the front it was so weak just a couple of turns ago, and now it's uh, bigger than everything on the opposing team. I, I guess that's just the power of finding the the manatee and the banana so quickly. And the uh, although the guinea fowl is going to get two triggers here, we're going to beat the retriever and the secretary bird. So now we have to say goodbye to the monkey, which is kind of unfortunate because it's uh, done a lot of good work. But we'll buy sell the oyster, and that gives us extra chance of finding um, a cherry, which we do on the next roll. And I think I'm going to buy it. And having bought it, I'm probably going to move the uh, the weak one to the front. But uh, all this shuffling around is going to start to create problems. I think uh, I haven't really noticed it in the actual gameplay here, but. In retrospect, it's pretty obvious that I should not have the level two surgeon fish in fourth position because we need, uh, it would be much better to have it uh, second, even if it has lower attack. Uh, the opposing team does have eggplant here, but it actually doesn't make any difference because the two trumpets are going to be spent already. So we kind of missed out on a lot of stats there from the level two. 
Muskox goes to the back, but because of our own eggplant, we've messed up this team that had the pita bread on the lizard, and the lizard was supposed to get all the buffs from the secretary bird. Uh, it is going to be close, but yeah, we are going to win and uh, just have the 3-3 and the 2-2 retriever left over. So kind of lucky to get away with that, but uh, I'll take it. On to some bonus clips here. And here's one with uh, five sea lions, which I have uploaded in the past, but this was just a, you know, sometimes you just get those runs where the shop gives you a whole bunch of sea lions and it's just rude to, to refuse. And this one, yeah, another sort of um, mechanical team with very low stats. But you can see here the Pteranodon doesn't have any space to um, spawn stuff after, um, I think that was as a result of uh, eggplant moving things. And uh, yeah, it's a very easy win. <laughs> the contrast to the previous battle where it was just base stats left, but we had two almost 50-50s left there. And then here's another one with uh, all squid. And this is, uh, all these runs are from the previous version. So this is uh, the older cockatoo. And yeah, again, we're throwing in two very weak units at the end. But turn 14, we do have three uh, huge uh, squid at the front. I think vastly uh, greater stats than in the surgeon fish run, even though it's the same turn. And uh, it kind of makes a mockery of uh, units like Gazelle, where they uh, they have those high stats, but the very high attack from the faint units can uh, can just knock out in one hit. And uh, yeah, another easy win, although not quite as comfortable as the Sea Lions. So there we go. I hope that video has uh, satisfied any surgeon fish enjoyers out there. Do make sure to go and like and comment on Rev's video. Any teasing is just in good fun.